over walking over troubled puddles. Hustles on my chest, no hustle, no progress. Pieces to the puzzle when everything was a mess. I'm just trying to stay blessed, be better than all the rest. And let me tell you, I'm not conceited, I'm just convinced. <laughs> right? Listen, I'm so modest, I can fit my... Today's episode was brought to you by John Hamlin and Associates. Each one of us can build wealth, replace scarcity with abundance, replace average with greatness, replace uncertainty with conviction. Success is there for the taking. Small business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, and the ambitious. Grant Cardone tells you what you have to do to prosper in this new economy. He'll inform you in everything business, finance, and career related. Get ready. Find the knowledge for your success. It's all here, right now, in the Cardone Zone. Hey, welcome to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone here. You can follow me on Twitter at Grant Cardone. I already follow you. When you tweet me, I tweet you. I tweet you back. I talk to you. Hey, this is the Cardone Zone. Every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I come to you to talk about your money, your business, your family, to get your hustle on, to keep your hustle on so you can take care of your little ones, your spouse, and your dreams. Look, I treat dreams like they're chillin's. I've had my my dreams have been my chillings, my little chillings for for as long as, well, hell, 25 years longer than I've had ch- ch- real chillings. And I want to help you with that. You know, last night, uh, Mr. Obama, our president of the United States of America, the greatest country on planet Earth, came out and, and made some decisions about immigration, which I am completely grateful for and happy about because I'm going to go hire me an illegal today. I think I got permission last night, did I? Did I get permission to hire an illegal immigrant? I think I now could literally hire illegals. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've had some. I've had people, when I found out they were illegal, I had to let them go, but they were on my payroll for a while, and they were some of the best workers I've ever had. They hustle. They show up. They don't complain. They don't bitch. They don't moan. They don't groan. And, and they don't show up sick. I mean, they just don't have problems. They don't, have a, they don't get in car wrecks because they don't have cars. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, uh, last night, Mr. Obama said uh, he he's willing and prepared to sign a series of executive actions to grant up to five million people, unauthorized immigrants, uh, protection from deportation. You have to be here five years, five years. You can't be here three years or last month, um, which I like that. And 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 for those people, uh, by the way, if you're a criminal, you're excluded from the program. I don't know how we monitor that, but that's what he said. Um this would what he's going to do is streamline visas and court procedures supposedly so that people can um, get approved to live in the United States. I think that's the right thing. You can't deport all these people. Um, they have families here. They got kids here. They do jobs here. He made a comment last night about look if we're not going to take care of the people that that pick our fruit and make our beds, what kind of country are we? And I'm like, did you really just say that? <laughs> Did you say that? If I was a white man and I said, if we don't take care of the people that pick our fruit as a white man, if we don't take care of the people that pick our fruit and make our beds, I mean, I'd be considered a racist, okay? Uh, but he said it and he got away with it. Here's what I want you to know about immigration, okay? If you're worried about immigration, if you're worried about letting people in, first of all, the United States of America lets more immigrants in than every other country combined on planet Earth. Every other country. You can take every other country. I don't know how many countries there are. How many are there? Anybody know? 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. How many freaking countries are there? Hit me on Twitter at Grant Cardone. How many countries are on the planet? Because nobody in my office knows because we a bunch of dummies. We a bunch of, how many? 196 comp- uh, countries in, in, on the planet. If you take 195 of them, they don't allow as many people in the country combined 
as just America allows into the United States. Somebody told us. Hey, call me up. I want to ask you this question. Why are immigrants out hustling Americans? Because if you're scared of immigration, if you're scared of 5 million people being approved, if you're scared of open borders, what are you scared of? Are you scared of their hustle? Or are you scared of ISIS? Come on. What are you scared of, man? I think you're scared of the hustle. Did you know that immigrants are three times more likely to become millionaires? Do you guys hear this? Immigrants are three times more likely to become millionaires than Americans. Three times. Why? Okay. Only 13% of the population is immigrant. One out of 25 families in America are millionaires. One Every 25 families, you know there's a millionaire. One out of every 25. That's a hopeful stat. The Cardone Zone is about getting you to the place where your finances are free, where you have abundance and prosperity. Okay, you're worried about immigration. They've been talking about this immigration thing for what, 50 years, ever since my my Italian heritage came in through um, uh, New York, New Orleans, all the East Coast and Southeast. Dude, I'm glad we let immigrants in. If it wasn't for immigrants coming in here, I wouldn't be here. And Jay-Z wouldn't either. And I like his music. Shit, if Jay-Z was still in Africa, I wouldn't even know about rap. Come on, man. What what you so threatened by? You threatened by the freaking hustle. These people hustle. I'm telling you, if I if I look at 10 people coming to my office and five of them are immigrants and five of them are Americans, I got to tell you, I can't help. I, I got to. I actually give the immigrants a quicker look. I look a little deeper. You know why? Not in a bad way, in a good way, because they hustle, man. Most of these people are sending money back to Jordan or uh, wherever. Where are you from? Slovakia, they're sending it back to take care of mom and dad and brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts that are still over there. The, the purpose, the drive, the motivation, they're not entitled. They, they come here thinking this whole thing's a gift. Americans are like, yeah, dude, I, I'm an American, man. This, I deserve this. This is my country, okay? Most of these people coming over here got to figure out how to survive and get by so that freaking edge and that hustle's there every day. This is exactly what I was talking about this weekend at the 10X seminar. When I come back on break, I'm going to show you why you need to hustle like an immigrant and how you can get rich doing it. Stay with me. Welcome back to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone here. Um, whatever it takes, man. Do you have it? Do you Are you willing to do whatever it takes? That's what this network's called. The Cardone Zone is about getting that whatever it takes kind of grind on so it's not a grind anymore. It's not beating you up, but it's what you live with and how you operate every day. I just left Cancun and did a, a seminar called the 10X Seminar in 25, almost 30 years now that I've been doing live events. We have never, ever delivered a recorded event live streamed a live event and then recorded it and made it available. If you want that, that thing is unbelievable. Almost six hours of content, all live, uninterrupted, uh, audience interaction of me talking, what it means to get 10X on. And most importantly, the first night, it's two different nights, um, what it takes to get, remove the blocks that you should be operating with. You, you should be normally um, operating with the 10X kind of mentality. Everybody should. It's not it's not a special trait. It's if you just remove the junk, you'd be operating at these higher levels. So if you want that, go to whatever it takes network.com forward slash 10x live, whatever it takes network.com forward slash 10x live. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, whatever it takes network, when you do, I can comment with you, I can interact with you, I can see your comments, your questions, I can see them right here, right now. Um, we're talking about the hustle today, and we're talking about immigration and what immigration has to do with the hustle. Last night, President Obama announced he will be using executive actions to grant 5 million unauthorized immigrants protection from deportation. Good job, man. I think you should do that. I'm not threatened by it, okay? Let them in. Open the borders. Approve of people being here. I'm not worried about the crim crims. I don't do business with the crim crims. There's probably 11, 12 million uh, illegal immigrants in this country, man. Stamp them, approve them, let them work here, and let them pay taxes here, and let them be part of the system. I'm fine with it. Let another 11 million in. Don't matter to me. You know why it doesn't matter to me? Because I got my hustle on, baby. I got my game plan on, okay? It don't matter how many people you bring in. You guys that are threatened by that, you don't have your hustle on. Okay, you can use the whole, yeah, but they didn't come in the right way. And, you know, they didn't go through the whole process and they didn't, whatever, man. 
If you got time to bitch about that, you don't have time to build your business. And that's what I want you doing. The truth is, most immigrants that I meet are hustlers. They do what other people refuse to do. There's not one person watching this right now that would last one day in a strawberry field. You couldn't last freaking four hours, okay? These people are willing to do whatever it takes. They appreciate the opportunity here. They don't have that entitlement thing. They have whatever it takes in their DNA, whatever it takes to get someplace where they could actually make it, America, where you could actually come here and be whatever you want, a taxi driver or own the company. The immigrants have proven they are three times more likely to become millionaires than the people that live here, have American names, speak the language, have brothers, friends, uncles, aunts. They know the way, the roads, and the the, the guy that comes here from the Ukraine is three times more likely. The guy that comes from here, Iran, is three times more likely to make it, to become a millionaire, than the Joneses. It's freaking scary, dude. Manuel from Cancun. What's up, man? Hey. How you doing, my friend? Hey, how are you, Ken? Nice to meet you, man. Who's Manny? Good to talk to you. What, do you have a question? Well, I just want to track in your, your program, see what, I don't know, when I go live. So that's why I'm calling in. I, I, I saw you you guys come here uh, last week in Cancun. I'm in the timeshare business. I'm sailing here. But I don't know. The question is specific or not. I just think to like at the moment. Dude, I appreciate you calling in, and and uh, and uh, it was great seeing you in Cancun, uh, folks. There's people all over the. We were in Cancun. I was there three nights, four nights maybe, and and uh, we had people from Australia, the UK, uh, Canada, all over Canada, the US, Mexico, and where else, Robert? Where else did we have people from? Australia? Did I say Australia? UK, Jordan. Do these people are hustling, baby? We we a third of the people there were from other parts of the world, man. You know, it's crazy. I don't have anybody from Houston. It was a freaking 40-minute flight from Houston and nobody from Houston. Why? Where's your hustle? Where's it hustle? Because I because I know people have the excuses. Now, I know people want to hustle. I know people are on this show right now. You guys are hustling. But I'm going to ask you this question. Are you hustling enough? If you got hustle one, hustle two, hustle three, hustle four, all the way to hustle 10X, what's your hustle at today? You just, oh, thank God it's Friday, man. Look, if you all into this Friday weekend thing and you can't wait for the weekend to start, you're missing some hustle, I'm telling you, which means you're missing some purpose because the people that come here from Iran into America, they got purpose. They know why they go to work every day. They're like, okay, I'm here. I want to make a living. I got to make some money, man. I got to make some money. First, they probably don't even speak the language. It's all broken. They're just getting by. They're trying to figure out how the roads, the ways, the, the, the culture, the morals of the society, how to get along with people, what to say to them. I mean, the hustles there, the grind, the survival, the, 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 literally scared all the time. Am I going to have to go back? Am I going to go back there where they're dropping bombs? We don't drop bombs in this country. They do that over there. Look, take a few moments today to redefine your purpose. What's your purpose? What's your game plan, okay? Are you hustling like an immigrant? Are you hustling like you could lose the ability to live in your country? Are you worried every day about going broke? You know, I know guys that have built, I mean, they have hundreds of millions of dollars and they still operate. You know, every deal is like, this could be the last deal, man. I might go bust out on this deal. I got to make every deal work. It's not greed. It's survival. Okay, I want to tell you, it's not greed when you want more. It's survival to do well to 10x for your family. It's that whatever it takes thing. You know, I was, I was reading this article about Obama says if we aren't going to take care of those. I, I said this last night and people have commented, not commented on it, but the people that take care of our fruit, fruits and, and, and pick our fruits and the, the work in grocery stores. And man, that, this is the fabric of America. People that drive cabs that maybe don't speak the language, they're from Nigeria. Who's going to drive the cab, man? Somebody's got to drive the cab. These people are hustling. Where Are you hustling? Are you showing up with a great attitude every day, okay? America, get your freaking immigrant attitude and advantage back on. Remember this, three to four times. The immigrant mentality makes you three to four times more likely to become a millionaire than if you were born in the USA. My number here is 305 305- 865-8668-305-865-8668. First callers, I got something free to give you. My new program, Seller Be Sold, man. It's an audio 
and interactive video download. 305-865-8668. Where's your hustle? Americans don't hustle for money today. I'm telling you, Americans don't hustle for money today. They're hustling for the weekend. Can't wait to get the weekend off, man. I want to go see a movie this weekend. Stay with me. My name's Grant Cardone. You're in the Cardone Zone, brought to you by Whatever It Takes Network. We called it that for a reason. Hey, welcome back to the Cardone Zone, man. Appreciate you guys joining me, ladies and gentlemen, on this Friday afternoon. Put it on your calendar, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Whatever It Takes Network, Cardone Zone. Gets you ready for the Friday, gets you ready for the weekend, gets you ready for... Get you ready for the hustle, baby. Get you ready for whatever it takes. Do you have whatever it takes? Because the immigrants got it, man. Look, if if you ask the average native-born American, not native American, but the native-born, I was born in the United States, hey, man, why are you in America? You know, I ask you guys right now, why are you in America? All except Polly. Polly will give the right answer. The rest of you white people here in the room, Chauvita, uh, the rest of you are going to be like, uh, why am I in America? You get this blank stare from people. You, you guys should leave here today and go ask other people that live here. Hey, why are you in America? My assumption is, you know, the common sense, well, I was born here. Where else would I go? You know, you ask an immigrant why they're here. You ask somebody that didn't live here recently from Nigeria, Iran, Mexico, and they're here now. Hey, why are you in America? What? You'll see the interest pop up, man, the eyes brighten up. You don't see the blank stare. That's what I want you to find again. I want you to find that whatever it takes, purpose. I know why I'm here. I know what I'm doing. I know how grateful I am. Man, this is a place where I could actually freaking bank some money. You can't do that in other parts of the world, man. You can't do that in Russia unless you're in the Klan. Y'all don't know that because you didn't go over there. Yeah, the Klan, okay? Let's talk to John from Indiana. John. Yes. Why are you in America? I'm in America because I got the potential to be a bigger priority here than uh, some of these people coming in the States. Awesome, dude. Right. You got your hustle on, man? You got your immigrant hustle? Do you hu- I'm getting it. Could, could, could an immigrant, do you know of any immigrants that hustle harder than you do? Oh, I know a lot. I know a lot. I'm trying to get to their potential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. They do hustle, though. Don't you agree? I agree. I need that potential. I need to, I need to get that passion that they have. Yeah. You got a you question for me, man? You know what I do? It's real quick, and it's been bugging me for quite some time. You know, I do distribution sales. Okay. And I just don't know any pointers that you got for me. I mean, I get limited by my by the company that I work for. Um, so, I, I mean, just looking out there, if you have any quick pointers. So when you, when you say distribution sales, what do you mean? I distribute to, uh, like, uh, health food shops and uh, Internet uh, health food stores. Yeah. Well, man, the first thing I would do is I, I would start, I would, do you use social media at all? Yeah, I do actually. L- l- and what's your, what's your handle? Actually, I just, uh, I just got on with you today. Uh, it's um, at Maze Johnson on Twitter. How, how, spell it for me. At Maze. Yeah. M-A-Y-S. Yeah. J-O-H-N-S-I-E. And, and what, what's a company you want their attention? What, give me a company that you could distribute to that you'd, you'd like their attention. Well, Whole Foods Market. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is tweeting the people at Whole Foods Market is mm-hmm. the best. Now, now why, why, would I, why would I tweet to Whole Foods right now? Because I'm trying to get their attention, you know? So you right. think the company's too big, but the truth is I know individuals that won't, won't respond to a tweet and a big company will. American Airlines? Mm-hmm. I tweet American Airlines every time I'm on their flight. Man, I love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are freaking wonderful. And what do they do? They tweet back to me. They tweet back to me and they see me active. So why am I trying to do that? I'm trying to get their attention. I'm trying to get distribution. You said it. Dude, everybody needs distribution, not just people in the distribution business. Your brand needs to be distributed out of obscurity into, whoa, this guy's different. That is the advantage the immigrant has over the average American. He distributes his product, his hustle, his energy, his interest. He's trying to, you know, he's trying to take care of his family. So I hope that helps, John. Try try that on both uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter. Big time, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, you. You got it. Lionel from Springfield, Florida. John. This is Lionel. Lionel. Lionel yeah. the John. <laughs> What's going on, Lionel? I can't call it. Do, do, you, do you know Lionel Richie? 
Man, I wish I knew Lionel Richie, but no, I don't know. I do know him, man. I used to live in his house. So. Oh, yeah, man. I'm telling you, one of the best songwriters out there. Yeah. Still. So, dude, tell me, what's your question? Well, my question is, I'm actually a, a small business consultant. Uh, I, you know, when you look at, when I look at you, you, you just embody a lot of the things that I know. I'm also in training to be a motivational speaker. Mm-hmm. You want to go so, broke, don't you? Man, I'm telling you, I've got, I mean, I'm just a ball of energy when it comes to that. I'm a, an 80% service-connected disabled veteran. But my question to you is this. I just moved to this area. I'm about maybe 30 miles north of Tampa. Uh-huh. I'm trying to establish a, a small business consulting firm in this area. And I'm trying to find ways to reach out to expand my my scope and yeah. more people or bring in more businesses. Now, the businesses that I have helped, I've done wonderful things for. Yeah. I've done tremendous things for. But it's just difficult trying to convince. So, so let me just, let me, I'm going to interrupt you, okay? First of all, I want to thank you for serving, number one. Number two, hey, man, do, don't do this thing with the consulting thing. And, and I bet money, I bet $1,000 right now, my own money, that, that, you, that you had this idea that you're going to help a handful of companies and really provide a quality service, I want, you to, I want you to shift into thinking about taking care of 10 times the number of companies, 10x that. This is what we talked about in Cancun uh, at the seminar. Do not go for, oh, I'm going to take care of a handful. I want you to go for 10 times the number of people. I want you to like think like the immigrant that would not think about, oh, I'm going to get two clients and take good care of them. No, no, they think about what? I'm going to take care of a bunch of people. OK, so you should be out there knocking on doors right now, dude, meeting people, doing exactly what you're doing with me, introducing yourself. My name's Lionel. I'm a vet. I'm here. I can help your business. I'm talking about knocking on doors, getting in their face. You guys that want to build consulting companies. This is the deal. Knock on doors, get in their face. Facebook and Twitter will not help you with these people. OK, you cannot social media your way into a consultant spot. You got to knock on doors, crush doors get in front of people and show them that you're different than the last consultant because the world is full of consultants we got more consultants in the u.s than immigrants y'all want y'all worried about immigrants you need to worry about freaking consultants because most of them can't rub two nickels together all right 40 percent of the largest u.s companies founded in this country were founded by immigrants why the hustle man 40% of the largest companies in the U.S. were founded by immigrants or their children. You hear me? I had a guy in here today, Seth. uh, Man, man, why y'all do that to me? Dropping the ball on me, man, okay? The cat's immigrant. His family's immigrants, okay? He's he's banked $100 million uh, trading stocks, okay? Sakarian. Sakarian. Sectrakian, man. Okay. Okay. Look, his family's Armenian. Okay. They're hustling, dude. They got, they got, they got pushed out of the cities. They literally got pushed away from city to city to city until they end up in America. And they're like, okay, we're finally here. Now we can make some money. He told me about his grandfather that was eating, eating grain out as they walked across deserts, having to find the grain in the camel dung, which is shit. How much hustle is that, man? You guys worry about going to Whole Foods. Oh, the prices of Whole Foods. Look, look. What, oh, I didn't find a parking spot at Whole Foods. God damn it. This is so terrible. Oh, my God. Dude, the guy was eating camel shit. Where's your freaking hustle at, okay? The Cardone Zone, punch in the head. Punch in the head. Wake up, man. Get your hustle on. Find out that immigrant hustle. You are three to four times more likely to become a millionaire if you were born outside the U.S. and come here. Greg from San Diego, sleep, most beautiful city in the country with the most people sleeping and surfing. What's going on, Grant? How you doing? My man, you've been out there today? You've been out there? In the, in, in, whoosh, huh? You've been out there? No, Catching I've been it? up since 4 o'clock just, just reading more of your book. I like that, man. I like that. You need to get on the MP3, dude, where, where I drop into your head and I, I become part of your neuron makeup. What's up? What's up? Okay. So, look, folks, this is what I'm telling you to do. Find your immigrant hustle. Somewhere in you, there is an immigrant. 
You know, what's the immigrant got on you? Hustle. Whatever it takes, no matter what it takes, I got to be successful. The other thing they got on you, the other advantage is this. Most of these people are sending money back home. So why, what does that do for you? It means they have to create more money to live and then to have this sent back for mama. This is what I've told you I've done for years is kept my hustle on. Okay, and I don't have immigrants to sell. So I don't have family to send money to. My mom and dad are dead. My sisters are taking care of themselves. I don't have money to send to somebody that can't take care of themselves. So what I do, I get rid of this money so I'm broke all the time. So it gives me that freaking, no matter how rich I get, I'm broke all the time, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go get some more money. I'm trying to get my hustle on. I'm trying to keep my game up. And I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't matter how much money you have. I need a purpose. And you do too. That's that immigrant mentality to take care of myself, to get ahead. Ask yourself today. Ask your wife. Ask your husband. Why do we live in America? If you don't have an answer, you're taking it for granted. And you think you're entitled to freedom. Max from Myrtle Beach. Max, are you any golf balls this weekend, bro? What's that? You going to be hitting any golf balls this weekend? You gonna be golf? Golf, golf, golf balls. Golf ball. <laughs> golf, golf, golf. You gonna play no, golf? I'm not, no, I'm not. No, I'm not playing golf. Okay, man. Hey, let me ask you something. Have you ever had an immigrant out hustle you? Uh, be frankly, honest, man. Frankly, no. No. I'm an immigrant myself. This is why. Oh, <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Siberia, Russia. Yeah. Now let me. So this is perfect, man. Let me ask you something. Do you do you see uh, Americans? Are they easy for you to for you to outwork? Oh yeah, absolutely. Tell tell me about that. Well, uh, listen, kind of basically. Well, reflecting to your last NX seminar at Cancun, you had a couple of people who showed up and uh, said that it's easy to outwork Americans because we're hungrier. So that's that's pretty much why because we we grow up poor and we do not take anything for granted and we strive like for every penny to get successful every day so nothing can stop us. Yeah. Do you do you have family back in Siberia still? Yes, I do. Do you send I money back whole, there? Do you send, do you send money back there every month? Oh yeah, absolutely. See, there it is. The, the guy doesn't say yes. He says what every time? Oh yes, absolutely. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, can you out hustle Americans? Oh yes, absolutely. Very easy. <laughs> Like, 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 listen to the energy the guy has. It's, not, it's like a no-brainer. It's like, you know what he's saying? Americans. He's saying you're freaking laying down, man. Like you're, I, I think Max is actually saying, I wipe my feet on Americans. Did you say that? Did you say, I wipe my feet on Americans? I guess you can say that. Whoa. Okay. Do you got a question, man? Yeah, I had a question. It might be a little off topic, but I hope that uh, Sorry. someone or everybody will get uh, yeah. something out of it. Uh, Mr. Graham, uh, the question I had, do you believe that you, being at the level you are right now as a salesperson or master closer, that you can get to the next level? Still, at, at where you are right now, you can still get to the next level, still get better. And if yes, how? Can I get better? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I could get, you know, I can get better by just paying attention to what I'm doing, the mistakes I'm making, and how to improve a little bit. Like like literally looking at how I can improve. But I can also get better. Another way to get better, because I think there's a lot of routes to getting better, uh, is to start you know, spending some time, investing time and energy and removing some of the things that might hold me back. A third way to get better is to put myself in a different game and play with different people. My okay. game cannot get better playing with people that are not getting better. Okay, yeah, my game gets worse. So if I can get in a game, and I'm not talking about competition here, I'm talking about immersing around genius. Like there's people that I've gotten around before, and all of a sudden my, I could feel my vocabulary just lifted because their intelligence is there. I, I find myself around other people, you know, where all of a sudden I slow down, go down, and I'm dumb. I don't even have any answers. I, I think part of the, I, I'm picking up their vibe or something. But I know there's people I've gotten around. I was at uh, in Clearwater, Florida about uh, seven, eight months ago, and I got around this guy named Dr. Brian Zwan. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I swear, I thought my IQ lifted like 12 points. It was freaking amazing. I'm like, all of a sudden, I had access to data. This guy's freaking brilliant. He's also worth almost a billion dollars. He's flying a $50 million jet. 
He runs companies like like uh, he's a puppet master from phone calls. And I mean, it's just there's a different energy. There's something going on in this space. Is he an immigrant? Uh, no, he's not, dude. He's just freaking smart, dude. I mean, he, th- th- I don't even think this guy's a human. I think he's a neuron. I think he's a neuron. I think he's some kind of atom, n- nuclear, some kind of energetic freaking trip. Hey, thanks for calling in, Max. Folks, you're watching the Cardone Zone. We're, we're talking about find your immigrant. Immigrant. That ends with a grant. Immigrant hustle, man. Find your hustle. Do what others refuse to do. Do not be entitled. Ask yourself this weekend, why am I in America? Why do I live in America? If you don't have an answer, dude, you're entitled. You think you're entitled to live here. You're not. Figure out what it's going to take to survive. You know what I mean by survive? If you've been following my content, you should. Survive is not get by. Survive is explode into the universe and not be destroyed. And you got to start taking some risk. You see, the immigrant came here taking risk. He was taking two risks. I'm at risk if I stay, and I'm at risk if I go. You know, my whole family came over here on boats. My grandfather was born on a ship over here. These people came here freaking hitting the ground hustling, too. They're freaking scraping and looking, and and that's where you, that's where you need to be, and that's where you need to be every day. A couple of tweets that just hit me. Um, uh, Meg Nicole, Nicole says, uh, get your hustle on. Um John Ashford said a 10X company, a 10X company truck and shows me the picture of a police truck. Ken Wall says it's true by the live stream of the seminar. He's talking about whatever it takes network.com 10X seminar 10X live. I'm sorry. Whatever it takes network.com forward slash 10X live. Do that thing. will get your freaking immigrant hustle on whatever it takes network.com forward slash 10 X live. It's sick. You guys that called in today, I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you a link to seller be sold the interactive video book. Uh, you guys that called in today. Hey, hit me up at Twitter. I'm at grant Cardone 10 X seminar. If you haven't gotten that thing, get it. Okay. Thousands of people have gotten the program already. Whatever it takes network.com forward slash 10 X live promise you it'll be worth 10 times. I tell you what, a hundred times, what you pay for it. I think it's one ninety nine on sale. One ninety nine. That program would have cost you four or five thousand dollars to go see live. I'm delivering it to you for one ninety nine. You can tweet me at Grant Cardone. And when you get the program, uh 10X Live at whatever it takes network.com, I will retweet you and get you some followers, okay? Do what? Callers, tweet me for see young hustlers. For the seller be sold. Tweet me uh, for the co- people that called in today because we didn't get everybody's contact data. I don't know what that means. All right. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, man. You're acting like an American, not like an immigrant. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Okay. Hey, appreciate you. Look, man, this weekend, this weekend, don't let your guard down. Okay. Forget that it's Friday or Saturday or Sunday. It don't matter. Hustle. Go to church on Sunday, pray, drop it down, be in there 100%, and then maybe you need to take a couple more hours off. I don't know. After that, you need to go freaking hustle, okay? Okay, because those people that tell you, you know, uh, uh, the seventh day is the Lord's day, yeah, well, those people are talking about it because they worked. They worked. You didn't. If you didn't bank as much money as you needed, okay, if you're not taking care of your family, if you're not happy with your production this week, you freaking violate that rule and make it up when you get to heaven. One donation will take care of it all. Peace out.